When I was a young person, about 17, 18, 19 years old, I lived in, I guess I was in the city right away, but before I went to the city, I was in Glen Cove, and the Beatles came out, and that's why I'm going to do this next song, but I'm going to tell you why first. Well, I grew my hair long, like the Beatles. I was in a band, and Glen Cove, the quiet little suburb of, was not quite prepared <clears throat> for this eventuality, okay, with this old hair. And uh, we had a conflict, you see, the school and I, and, uh, well, you see, they wouldn't let me graduate on the platform unless I cut my hair. Now, I was playing in a band. Okay, I went to I told my mom. I said, you know, mom, hey, hey. She didn't care. You don't have to cut your hair. She tried to talk to them. They didn't want to hear. Then they, so the principal says to me, he says, well, you know, if you don't cut your hair, you ain't gonna be able to graduate on that stage. I've been on stage every damn day of the week. What, it didn't matter to me, you know? <laughs> It's just another one, you know? I have to wear that gown, you know? So, <laughs> we ain't going there, okay? So, uh, so, but, so the short version is, he said, well, you know, if you don't cut your hair, you're gonna have to come here the next day and you'll get your diploma. He great, you know, it's okay with me, I was happy. But, the point that I'm trying to make is in those days, if you had your hair long, you wore commie, faggot, hippie, pinko. That's what you were, and it didn't matter whether you were or not, your hair was long. You're one of them. Do you know what I mean? That great line Jack Nicholson has in Easy Rider, you know, and he says, you know, well, people are all for change, except when they see it and then they get scared. <laughs> okay? So, so here I am, communist, faggot, hippie, pinko, all that stuff, because I had long hair. I said, no way. I don't want to just have people look at me and decide what the hell I am. So I took a novel approach. Enter the wizard. Now, I don't know if you can see that picture. This is, a, this is a cloak, arms, you know, hat. Now, let me tell you something. You put that stuff on, and you walk around the streets of New York City, there may be eight million people there, but they're all on the other side of the street. <laughs> because they're not sure, you know what I mean? Because you might be catchy or something, you know? And here I am, the gray wizard of mine. I'm cruising down the street. Now, <laughs> Legolas used to, God, where's Legolas? He's in Key Largo. Next time any of you go down to Key Largo, if you could go find Legolas, you could please come and give me, give me a call. He, he's up there in the picture, that's Legolas walking away from the camera. <laughs> Legolas, Legolas is Gary in Elven, all right? But I digress. Back to the matter is, <clears throat> here we are. No, the point I was gonna tell you was, I said, I said, Leg, you know, what's going on? He says, the reason people cross the streets is because you open that door and you come out with four German shepherds. <laughs> well, I had to, yeah, I did, you know, we didn't use, you know. I used to cross the street, I'd walk to the street, and go, <laughs> boom, the dogs would cross. It was really, really good. Now, so I put that stuff on to force people to decide what I was. Now, I'm not going to suggest to you that they came up with a different answer, you know? And God, hey, think about what they really came up with, you know, that's really frightening. But the idea was, they had to decide. They couldn't just say, he is da 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 you know? And even if they said I was a nutcase, I could care less. They decided I was a nutcase, they just didn't call me one. Now, <laughs> but, but it matters. You know, you know, you see, people just, you know, they, if they think you're a jerk, you know, that's one thing, you know, but if they have to decide you're a jerk, okay? Now, where am I going with all this? I'm going this, and, and, and those of you that have suffered through this before, understand that you notice I haven't had to tune the guitar a lot. And the reason is because I haven't been picking it up and putting it down. So the wizard's gonna stay on the little stick, and if we go next door, and if it's important, I'll put it on there, okay? But for right now, I'm in tune, you know? I mean, we want to stay in tune, okay? But we can still go there with an Elvin song. When I became the wizard in 1970, I was reading the books, The Lord of the Rings. I, I don't need to talk a lot, but I just want you to have a little bit of background. So I read the Lord, the Lord of the Rings, and in 1972, it wasn't like now, big movies and all that stuff, you know? It, it was for people who read. <gasps> You know, what a concept, you know what I mean? It was like, wow, you read? Wow. Yeah. yeah, see? You know. So anyway, what did I like about Gandalf the Grey? He survived all the books. That was my criteria. He was in the first book, he was in the last book, he was still alive. My guy, okay. So, I know it sounds a little bit base, but... Now, bottom line is this, what happened was, so all of my people that I 
I knew, they all got Elven names. Richard Kessler, the artist, became Bjorn. His wife, Evelyn, became Aowen, and Arwen, and Galadriel, and Strider. Down from the Shire and Hobbiton Hills, over the Brandywine Bridge, further by spring, down the Great East Road, and over the very last bridge, stopping at Rivendell, and then heading out. Nothing. 